This here is our uh, one micron filter. Once you're down to the one micron size, you're starting to pull out your viruses and bacteria from this uh, drinking water. Um, now this works, you got an inlet coming in one side and then you have an outlet. Now we have two here because as it comes down to our unit, it splits off and filters both canisters at the same time. So we'd isolate one of them, you shut off your inlet, you shut off your uh, outlet, which is on this one. And you also have your drain right here. These are run off of pressure as well. Um, visually, you have your indi pressure indicator, PI420, and your outcoming pressure, PI520. Now you monitor those for your inlet and outlet to get your 10 to 15 PSI differential between the two. So then you know it's time to change your filter. To begin the maintenance, you shut your inlet valve. You shut your outlet valve. and you open your drain. Disconnect the drain line and open it up so that your water will drain faster as this sucks in air. Then you got a process of pulling all these nuts off. And once the nuts are all off, you remove your lid. You check the inside of it for any damage, rust, wear, potential issues that could hurt the integrity of the lid. And then you open this up and you inspect your, your rubber seal on here that would seal on your lid. You don't see any damages. Then it's time to remove the filter, lift the whole thing up over into our water catch. <coughs> and here we got the same thing. We got pleats to maximize surface area. So if you were to cut these ribbons on here and open it up, it may stretch, you know, from one side of the trailer to the other which maximizes their filter, filtering surface area. So to carry on, we remove this threaded cap off the top, pull it off, you take your lid off, and you inspect the bottom, check in your O-ring, make sure there's no cracks, damages, any other potential contamination. You take your lid and your cap, all these, you'd wash in the sinks, open water. You look inside, get your shop vac, vacuum out all any particulate that may be stuck on the bottom. Um, Look for any damages on your drop pipe here in the center. And once it's cleaned up, you would disinfect all these parts again. I prefer to disinfect things into the canister so you control your spray. You spray down the side of it as well. Make sure you get all your pipe. You spray this down as well. And then you put this back on your new filter Thread on the lid, lift it up, and back in place. And once that, you can put your cap back on, along with all your wing nuts. And when you're tightening these down, you want to do it like a wheel. So you do one side first and just get it down until it's snug. And you just tighten down the opposite sides because you want this whole lid tightened down evenly across the whole thing. So as we get them just touching and snug, pulls down a little bit, you keep going on opposite sides. So you go the opposite, spin her down. So once you all got them snug, work your way around, tightening them up opposite to opposite. You don't want to over tighten here because you can cause your seal to misshape and not seal properly. You do not want to ever want to put wrenches on these because they are brass and they will break easily. Until eventually they all stay snug. Once that open, you leave your valve on top open. You close your drain and you slowly open your inlet. Then you would start your system again using this to control the air as it bleeds out of there. You hold your hand in front of it and open the valve until you get water, stream of water coming out here. Close this, reconnect your hose into this pinch fitter fitting, pull it up so it's snug, and you let this drain to waste until there's no more air in this tube.